now when um uh, your confidence level man when you when you talk about selling uh so many units okay when you sell those units what's next you know what i'm saying you know how can you what were you at what were you feeling like okay i put this out here i sold this now what you know it's like the pressure's on you yeah, I mean, it was a lot of it was a lot of pressure for me. It's, it's always been pressure for me to keep my career going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, the thing of it is, is uh, artistically, because I'm not a uh, trend follower, I try to be more of a trendsetter. Um, you know, it's not it's not people gravitate to my music because of that. You know what I'm saying? So as long as I try to stay con creative, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to really worry about. Um, my goals as a uh, producer or as an artist, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, just stay creative. I keep challenging myself, you know, every time I do a project or make a record. Mm -hmm. And um, because of that, you know, I, I've been blessed to have some longevity. This is my t this is actually my 10-year anniversary in oh, the okay. music business, you know what I'm saying? That's hot. Congratulations, you know what I'm saying? Again, okay. from Real Flavor from Chicago, you know, out to tracks. So congratulations, you know, just for the dedication, no just doubt. for the drive. No doubt. And, Seeing as though that you have that particular drive, you had that particular dedication, would you say that you set things up and I'm saying it in forms of goals, you know, coming from an urban you coming from, you know, just urban America, you know, and black America, nine out of 10 times we aren't taught to set those goals for ourselves. Is that something that you did that was taught to you? Is that something that you chose to do? I mean, what exactly did you do to set things up to way in which you have it right now? Well, yeah, it was definitely goals. Um, I visual, I, one of my gr greatest talents isn't necessarily music. It's it's the ability to visualize myself someplace is that and the then, secret? yeah, I guess that would be the secret. Visualize what I want to yeah. do and then find the path to get to, to where I'm to where I'm going. Mm -hmm. So, because you know, I never really could. It's, it's funny. I never really considered myself a musician. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was just I made beats to rap to. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. Yeah. And um, but over time. Uh, me setting goals, uh, I developed into things that, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm growing it's into other things, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, the goal, setting goals is definitely important. And, and, like, I didn't have, the funny thing about it is, and the reason that even though I've had my success and other artists have had their success, that we still, I think that we still struggling as a market is because we, you understand, we the first generation of these successes. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like we didn't have, 10, 20, 30 years worth of artists in the music right, business to kind of... We had a foundation, right, yeah. You right. know what I'm saying? We are the foundation, Especially so. with this hip-hop thing, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely, because it only goes back as far as, like, 30 years and right, people really, right. you know what I'm saying, don't sleep, but real flavor. What we gonna do? We gonna... <laughs> Hey, I'm, I'm just digging my man. He's deep, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Intelligent conversation. And speaking of artists, when we come back, we're going to talk to his brand new artist, E Dub, you yes, know what I'm saying? But we're going to kick it back to my man, BJ, BJ in the studio, mm -hmm. holding up, it down. Bradford Allen. Flavor. Real flavor. Holla back. <laughs> Man, the legendary Traxxer is a deep brother. And, you know, for you viewers out there who may not have known a lot of the stuff that he shared so far with, you know, our two field correspondents, Marky G and Miss Toy, you know, the brother's really, really intelligent and, you know, multi-talented, you know. And so keep the station locked. There'll be more with Marky G, Miss Toy, and the legendary Traxxer and his artists, you know, hottest artists out here in Chicago, E-Dub, talking about, you know, more about their musical projects and, you know, Traxxer release, you know what I'm saying, about to release this new CD called The Return to Gangsta Music, and, you know, don't let me forget about their, you know, Mob Life Volume 3 mixtape called The Legend and the Gangsta, Trackster and E-Dub. So keep the station locked. When we come back after the break, we're going to holler at John Tellers, Attorney John Tellers with Real Talk. Keep it locked. We be real, flavor like gumbo. So get a bowl, put down your more control and kick your feet up. BJ turn the beat up, connect BJ. with Chicago's best from Bump J to I am uh -huh. to Kanye West. Uh -huh. Plus your boy Eleven the kid from the memoirs. We getting ours in the views from local stars before they made it. So many imitate, but they be talking. Hey, ain't no mind, we already shine. It ain't hard to find 730 every Wednesday. Hurry, BJ got the crop, real flavor. Supply the block with true hip hop. Check it down, it's already 730. Better hurry, channel. 25 lockers. It's about to go down. That's real flavor. 